Hola guys and girls and welcome to the week 6 match of the Champions of Galar. We are up against Matthew uh, or Dr. Slacking and his Cotswold Whimsicots. And uh, yeah, we had a, a rather unlucky match last week. Let me light up my face a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so we are uh, desperate for a win. Uh, we're using a new method, <laughs> which uh, is new for me at least, with the, the friendly completion stuff. So I don't exactly know when the match will start, so I start recording here. And uh, yeah, he has a scary team for sure. Uh, Damanitan Gala is one of the mons, which if he predicts correctly, everything is two-hitted or one-hitted. So I do have switches to Ice Moose, I do have switches to Earthquake, I do switches to a U-Turn. The stuff like that, but of course my switches to that don't switch into another move if he clicks that. So very big threat, very big problem. And then uh, Starmie can be problematic, depending on what it is. And then he has some annoying defensive mons like Mandeba, Sylveon. But I do have, a, I have some mons which are definitely a threat for him as well. So I can't complain too much. Like, it's not a terrible matchup. These are just the, the threats he has. So, for example, Alucha is pretty awesome versus him. So, yeah, I have that with me. So I just need to bring some chip. And, uh, yeah, m opponent couldn't be found. So, uh, yeah, let's just try again. And I will cut to the anti Imperial. So, uh, see you then. Hola, guys and girls. And, uh, yeah, here we're back. Um, we had some troubles. We did couldn't connect with the new thingy, like the internet thing, because uh, my opponent can't do the LAN method. So, uh, yeah, we're playing with Showdown. I don't like Showdown for the matches since <laughs> I was able to live narrate. But, uh, yeah, here we are. Let's not let them wait any longer and accept this is my team right here. That is correct. Wish our opponent. Good luck, have fun again, and let's see. I don't have to write down the mo I don't have to write down anything, so I don't have don't need that. First of all, Duraladon is a little bit of a surprise. We don't see Mandibus. No Mandibus, okay. Instead we see Duraladon, but other than that, uh, Govtail, of course, uh, can trap some stuff, which is annoying. Big threat, annoying, potentially big threat. Uh, potentially annoying, and this is a uh, bit of a question mark. Didn't expect that necessarily. Okay, Leeds, no Rosary either, which is uh, a good note. But uh, yeah, no ground type either, so real no reason to not lead with my scarf Rotom, I think. Just leave that, click World Switch, and go from there. Yeah, other than that, uh, no lander, so no, no ground type there. Uh, my team, by the way, before we forget, Fist Death, Power Up Sky Up. Um, yeah, he can't risk me being. S I mean, if he's. We find out out if he's Scarf as well, to be honest. If, he's, if he should decide to stay in. Um, as with no Heatran, so we get a nice wall switch there. And now we can honestly just go into Zygarde and click Bandit, Fallen Arrows, I think. I don't really know if he wants to switch in there. We see Leftovers in that, which is nice. And yeah, we are Bandit and we click Thousand Arrows. Uh, Fist of Sylveon should still take a good amount from my Zygarde. Uh, Sylveon. Because no mana bus is there, which like. Surprised, like who's like the fist F mon then? I was expecting a mandibus, for example. But yeah, level 50, fist F Sylveon, yeah, takes, ca has a chart to two hit. Uh, yeah, that's fully fist F, otherwise that wouldn't be able to do that much damage. Or there's little damage, better said, and we have slow bro switch in. He might have to wish here. But what he wants to wish into here is the question. Um, can I wish into anything, honestly? I just go for a curse. Nice, that worked out pretty well. We are quick draw, by the way. We are not uh, regenerated because this is um, this is a one to stay in, not to switch out. And we go for second curse. The Dreadon is a bit annoying for me because I only have li <laughs> I have liquidation and uh, the shell sidearm, so this could be troublesome. Do I go for second curse though? Dreadon should be a switch in, but honestly, yeah, I should be going for second curse. I should be going for a second curse. After that, I can click buttons. Uh, that's going to go for tail. Okay, so he might. Okay, I'm trapped now, so honestly, uh, I can't do much. He could trick me here, but then he would give himself a black sludge. Which I don't know if he wants that. And we go for uh, shell side arm here. We have quick draw, so we might <laughs> be act faster than him. Like I said, Govtail made it annoying to bring Skarmory. All my other mods can deal with Govtail, potentially, depending on the set. But uh, there's like really no set of Skarmory, barring Shadshell, which can deal with Govtail. So yeah. Like I said, he could trick me here, lock me into a curse that way, or in Shell Sidearm that way. But then he would give himself a, a Black Sludge, and that's fine with me. And this guy with the uh, Specs could still work, honestly. So here go goes to Psychic, okay, that's good damage. Plus to shell side arm, does even better damage. Um, so this psychic did 
51%. So way too much, honestly. But with Slack off, we, yeah, we, 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 uh, we stall him out. Let's see, uh, 51%, is that Specs, Goffertel? Slowbro Galan versus Goffertel, is that Specs, Goffertel? Is it, if that is a Specs set, because that did a lot of damage, I'm Spitdev Slowbro. So I'm thinking this might be Specs, Goffertel. Modest, uh, let's give him plus one. And Psychic. So, yeah, that's Specs. That's Modest Specs. So we can potentially just stall him out here, honestly. And heal up. Buying a crit, to be honest, or a uh, Watchmajigger. Like, let me take off once more. Because a crit, of course, could change everything. Other than that, I think I have to hope I get quick draw here. Because in 16, he's, he's bound to crit at some point. So, yeah, let's hope for a 30% quick draw chance, I want to say. There it is. There it is. There it is. Nice. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I waited just the right amount for my slack off so that to trigger first. So yeah, nice. Coffertail gone. We still plus two plus two. And yeah. His mons will have to take some damage. Damage and Gala. Okay. You could U-turn, you could do a lot of things. Honestly, I just want to scout what you want to do. Because you not scarf. If you're bandit, let's cark this. Because I'm plus two defense, so I should be able to take the hit for sure. Let's say your choice band. Do I lift the hit at plus two defense? Plus two attack, plus two defense. Earthquake does too much if he's banded. The rest I can take. The rest I can take. Earthquake does too much. So I could switch out here, which I probably should. And switch into Rotom. Dusk of Isaac Crash. Okay, I could I could have taken that. I could have taken the Isaac Crash. That did 74 to my... 74 to my Rotom. So he doesn't have Earthquake, I'm assuming. And that means he is banded. He is a bandit. He is a bandit boy. Mm, I'm still vote switching though. Am I still vote switching though? I'm playing overheat. I think I'm playing overheat. Let's go into heat run this time. Let's get this flash fire boost. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Vaporeon on that. Seeing what he wants to do. Stealth rocks. That's fair. Uh, Rodem is then. Ooh, Rodem might be dead now. 32, quick cock, uh, 33, I still have one, damn, damn I, I will still have one HP if I switch in, I'm wishing, he misses toxic, which is annoying for him of course, I'm wishing, and do I just go into slow bro and do this thing again, no, I flip turn here, get a slow flip turn into my roll and to wish it up again. I'm fine with Toxin this way. Probably is not uh, here to stay in a lot. But I want this. Let's, let's do this cock again. 192 uh, divided by 4 is 32 point something. And sh Pokemon always rounds down. So it's 32 damage. And I have a 33. So I lift this. And 1. And I get a wish back. Big wish. There we go. Head cocks. And yeah, now I obviously want to switch out. I want to stay in on that. 19% what does tell us about Heatran by the way? What does this tell us about Heatran? That we did 90% with the Wolf Switch. Is he Max Bedev? Uh, not Vaporeon, Rotom Heat, Wolf Switch, 8022. If he's Max Bedev, that 90, yeah, he should be Max Bedev. I just go back into Vaporeon and I flip turn again and go into my. Yeah, like I said, I didn't want to <laughs> go hard into my Watchmajiga. My Mr. Zygarde. So let's just flip turn again. Okay, I want to uh, slow flip turn into my Zygarde to guarantee it not be uh, thingy majigat. And I think I should just go and this band Zygarde. Mm, he might be fast. He might, in fact, he's not faster than me, but would he be Scarf? That's something I should scout for. Could click just 1000 arrows, so Tox. Let me kick 1000 arrows. Let's play it safe. Force him to wish again. That's a higher roll, yeah. That is a higher roll. Um, let's go into Gala on that. Slow Gala on that. As he yawn. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So he yawned me. He did yawn me. Could put me asleep that way. Um, shell side arm obviously is a trouble for him. Do I just slack off? I slack off. I want to be healthy. Oh, he risked that. Okay. He did risk that. Um, what does he want to wish up again? Nothing really is damaged a lot on his team, barring the Sylveon. 
So I just try to wake up here. Everybody doesn't do anything. I just try to wake up here. It didn't show what my last move is for now. So yeah, let me just wake up. Let me just try to wake up. Ooh. No wake up for me, sadly. So we know he's banded. We know he's banded. So anything he does will do a lot of damage. Mm, do have defog on Rodan, which we could do at some point. Wake up there would have been awesome. And I said Crash just gets a kill, basically. I need rocks up to deal with Sylveon, because if he's max, how much does plus two Halucha do sky attack to Sylveon? That's the question I want to ask. To boldly bolt. Because I knew it at some point. Because the longer the game goes, the more I will lose this match, I think. Plus two sky attack. Has a Rolissa roll. I need I need rock chip. That's all I need. So something has to die here, I think. Something does have to die, and I think it's this thing. I think it's this thing. So now we can go back into you. We could dethog, but then he just gets up rocks again. I could, could have gone to Bishop to be fair, which probably would have been better to get up my rocks. Let's World Switch. He does stay in this time to get a crit, which is nice. He wants Ice Crash again, so Bishop, how much do you take? And then he's obviously in Sucker Punt range. Bishop versus Damanitan, Gala. Uh, choice Scarf. Uh, choice Band. I should take Ice Crash for sure. Yeah, I do take one. So let's go into that. Then he is in Sucker Punch range, so let's get up our rocks. Don't think he wants to lose this. To a Sucker Punch here. But it is a mind game, to be fair. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose this. Nice, so I get up rocks. So he has to spin at some point with Stami. But now... Uh, how do I reach? Um, now I can basically just click ban a thousand arrows because Sylvan after rocks is two hitted. So do I need this guy? Not really. Not really, really, really. Yeah, I think I can just sack this. Let's click knock. Thunderbolts me, it's fine. It's life orb, good to know. Going back into you. Just click thousand arrows. Ground arrows, kill something. Sex the Damanitan, which is fair. Sex the Damanitan. Can go Sylveon now. In which case, I probably just go into Vaporeon. Stami, okay. He wants to Ice Beam me. But does Ice Beam kill me? Because Stami, if he's not just a bulky Stami, for example, it's Kalk. How much is doing defense of Stami Ice Beam versus my. So you have a power and obviously a switch in, which is Ice Beam does kill me if it doesn't even need to be life or something like that. But obviously the power is a is in very easy switch in for me at the moment. Mm. I think I still do it though. So I got still useful with extreme speed for example. It does go for the Ice Beam. His life up as well. So uh, all, all the chip on these monsters is awesome for my Halucha. All these chip on these monsters is awesome. Mm. Do I just wish here? It could go into Alphonse then. Get a, a good flip turn. I just flip turn here. Do live that. Boom. Can go to Rodem. Just click Volt Switch. Get momentum or a kill on this. Because I am Scarf. We know he's life up. Just go to Alphonse. Boom. So, Life Orb Alphonse with Thunderbolt. Does Halucha live? Because he has no priority on the team, barring Quick Attack Sylveon, maybe. Uh, Durell or Don. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely enough. Definitely enough. Definitely enough. So, we can just go Zygarde here again. Just click 1000 arrows, get a kill. He kills Alphonse is dead. Good to know, good to know. Stami is chipping himself down. There's the Stami again. He might have recover. I think I just sack you here. Go 
Ice. Life of Ice Beam ah, doesn't have Tuvalu as well, but for sure, Starmie. Mm, yeah, yeah, it does. It does. So now we have a question to make. This is my last switch in with Rotom, so I definitely have to click T Bolt then. But I have to keep this low. I have to keep this low. So I think I just 1000 arrows. But how do I defeat Sylveon then? Because I then could go into you. Yeah, I could click the thing to. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Okay, Resec. Resec Vapor in here. Hope he doesn't recover. Does recover. Okay, should have stayed in. Should have stayed in. So obviously we have to go into Rotom now. Last switch in with Rotom. It might be useful as a as a sack later on. If I click just Thunderbolt, I can go to Heatran. But Heatran is the one I can set up as Dion. So yeah, I just click Thunderbolt here. Just click Thunderbolt here. He might not want to lose Sylveon. Yeah, it's a close game. For sure. Just go to Heatran. Okay, that works for me. That works for me. That works for me. I just Thunderbolt again. Basically sacking my Let's protect again. Just, oh, he just gave me. F I mean, he wants my health on on, on the Ahitron, I guess. But he just gave me free switch or something. <laughs> In case I want to keep the sack around. I just spam T-Bolt here. So he does have lava plumes. We could burn my Halucha, which would be annoying. Let's go to Halucha. Let's click SD. What does he do? Lava plume, no burn, please. No burn, hell yes. And now, this is plus two. Oh, what? I lost. Due to activity. Okay, that's a thing. Is the timer already gone? Was that ten minutes? Um. <laughs> okay. Did I just lost because of that? Because you play on showdown? Did I just lose? Because that? What? Is this because the timer went out? No, the timer get blow out. Let's see, it's 25 here, 20 here, 15 here. But was that already the the 10 minutes for me? Was it a just turn? The whole recording isn't 10 minutes, or is it? Why can I see my whole time? Blah, blah, blah. Why can I see my 10 minute timer? Uh, would I be able to check my 10 minute timer? Hmm. I mean, let's do the Kalk real quick. Halucha plus two, Sky Attack versus Heatran. Mm, special Defensive. Uh, Sky Attack would be enough, so I could get my, uh, my boost. And then I would have plus two acrobatics for Sylveon. Mm, which could have the quick attack, I guess. Plus two acrobatics with no item. Power up gone. Would not be enough, actually. With rocks. Okay, but uh, yeah, we'll cut till we know what's going on. If I lost the match or yeah, what happens here. Okay, we are back. Um, yeah, it was a <laughs> the timer thing was apparently dodgy. We got messaged by that. We replayed, but uh, yeah, we're in a weird spot because now I have more information than I shouldn't have because he said he didn't want, he didn't need to plume me because he didn't want to risk the burn, uh, and uh, yeah, because the damage doesn't matter since hyper voice from Silver kills me either way. 
stuff like that. Problem is, like uh, like you all saw, I calc the acrobatics with plus two with no item versus. Uh, I was checking if I'm faster than Stami. I need Unburden burn to be faster than Stami. But Sylveon with max fist death, bold. You assume that right now. So I'm just doing the calc right here. Um, acrobatics is not enough. Sky attack is enough about rocks. So, the question is. My original plan was to sky attack this thing, to have my unburden, be faster than this thing and potentially sweep. But now we need a sky attack for Sylveon, that's the problem. Um, so it is in the end uh, a 50-50 if I think that after I kill this this heat train he will go into Starmie or the Sylveon. So um, at first, like it's a question, like what would he do? Because I, am, I should could be faster than Starmie, he doesn't know that. I mean, he could be calking. I think I'm adamant, and then I'm. I mean, I didn't. Could I, could I calc the dam? What, what did uh, the Stami do? I can't calc the damage Stami if he's modest, for example, or something like that. So I think I have to go for just for, like, it's a 50-50 in the end now. But I, do, it's, a, it's a weird match because I have some information I shouldn't have, and it's difficult to decide like what would I have done because I have more time to think now and I know this stuff. So it's a weird match. So I'm just doing this. I'm taking the best odds I think I have right now, which is clicking close combat, killing this thing. And then see what he goes into. That's going to Sylvia. So now I can click Sky Attack. I kill this thing. Yeah. And now I can click Acrobatics versus the versus this guy. Which I think should win me the game. It's a weird match. I guess it was weird from the start. We couldn't play on this, so GG. But yeah, it's not a not a clean match. Not a, I'm not happy with that. Like how that ended. Like I said, it's uh, it's it's very difficult to to do stuff because if I clicked, like I said, I was just doing the card with acrobatics versus versus uh, versus Sylvan before, and like I said, and then the timer ended, and then I I couldn't finish my thought, so it was difficult. Like would I would I have gotten to the same conclusion I am now with with more time and the stuff we, we you see in the chat right here, would I have gotten to the same conclusion or not? Like I said, it's it's weird, so I just I want to clear that right off. It's a weird, ma weird way to end the match. I did win apparently, but yeah, I'm not happy with that. So uh, yeah, it's a two or win there, but that's all for me. Uh, I will c definitely uh, talk with uh, with uh, Matt a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I hope you still did enjoy this video, even if it might be a mess of an upload with all the cuts and stuff like that. But that's all for me. I'll see you another time. Ciao.